How's it hanging? It's Web Studios here. I'm Reed. And I'm Jax. Welcome back to another video. We've hated on face shells. We've made an entire video dedicated to why we hate them. But recently we've bought one and we've actually really, really liked it. We thought it was a very quality face shell and it really improved the look of our suits. So we've decided to buy another one. You guys have already read the title and seen the thumbnail. It's the ultimate Spider-Man face shell. We really like the way that really big lenses look, but we didn't really have any suits or face shells already that had that look. And we can't wait to see how it looks on some of our pre-existing suits along with one brand new one. But you guys will have to wait and see what it is. We got this shell from Etsy and it was from the seller Patrick from the shop from Sheep. I would highly recommend this seller because they were very communicative and they helped fulfill a couple of special requests that we had for this face shell. So the total of the face shell was $105.27. The shipping was free. The shipping took about 22 days. And honestly, that was pretty fast, especially considering the seller did have to fulfill some of those specific requests we asked for. All right guys, with all of that out of the way, let's open up this face shell. Here it is. It's the first time opening it. Out of box, honestly, this face show looks really, 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 really good. It really does look like the comic Spider-Man brought to life. It's really interesting to see because a lot of times when you see face shells, you think specifically of a Spider-Man, like the MCU face show, you think of Tom Holland Spider-Man and the Raimi, you think of Raimi Spider-Man. But when you see this one, you really do just kind of think of Spider-Man. Starting off with the shell on its own without any of the lenses, it does have a very Spider-Man looking shape. It's a bit cartoony, but I think that adds to the comic feel. It has a very large hump over the top of the head, but this helps to smooth out your head and make it look more like Spider-Man. The face shell does have this kind of S-curve design. This is just so you have space for your ear. The lens area specifically is indented. This is so that the lenses can actually set in and they can look kind of flush with your mask, but there are a couple of side effects. When you're wearing it, the two areas on the inside here can poke your nose and make it really uncomfortable to wear the face shell. It also just kind of pokes into your face in general when you have this indent in the entire shell. It's not a deal breaker at all, but it's just a little bit annoying when you're wearing the face shell. The holes on the top of the face shell are very large, and there's a lot of ventilation throughout the entirety of the shell. These are the lenses. As you can see, they are just a work of art. They are so shiny, and they are so ginormous looking, and they are just fantastic. They are not perforated. They do have the same hole texture that you've come to see on a lot of other heroes time related things. It might fog up a little bit worse than perforated lenses. Unlike the actual face shell, these are not FDM printed. These are actually printed with resin. Now this causes them to be a little bit more smooth and definitely paint easier, but they are made out of a different material. I'd like to see other face shell companies or other shops on Etsy use this approach when printing, because I think that it really does allow for more detail on the lens while focusing more on flexibility and comfortability for the actual shell. Once you put the lenses on the face shell, they do sit really nice and flush. They have just the right amount of bug eyeness to them and honestly it just looks so fantastic i can't believe we didn't buy an ultimate shell sooner i really think that this is just fantastic when comparing this shell to the other two shells that we've gotten on this channel you can see it is a bit larger overall it does come back a lot similarly to this one over here it also does just look much more like a comic Spider-Man, and the lenses are much, much bigger than both of these shells. So this one by far has the sharpest and most clear indent on the inside of the mask. It, there is definitely a difference in how sharp it is and stuff, and I really do think that that one is more comfortable when comparing those aspects of it. Besides that, honestly, this one is just as comfortable as the others. And you guys actually haven't really seen this one on the channel much, but it is coming in the future. Promise. But these two are by far the most similar. They're all made out of really similar materials. This one is by far the most different. We don't really know why people choose to make these out of glow in the dark looking colors. Now that we've talked about everything that this face shell has to offer, let's actually put it on with a mask and see how it looks. You really can see that it looks like a comic brought to life. If you guys are wondering what mask this is, it's from a secret costume that's coming soon. It really does look great. It is a comic book brought to life. There is no other way to look at it. It is just, it is truly incredible looking. It is just the most perfect Spider-Man contrast 
with the red, the black, and the white that I have ever seen. It is just absolutely fantastic. It really looks like a comic brought to life. Now let's see how this thing actually looks when I have it on. So here's it on. It obviously is gonna muffle my voice a little bit, but honestly, it just, it really does look so good. As we have already talked about, it does look a little bit cartoony, but it just looks exactly like Spider-Man. And when you think of Spider-Man, this is what you think of. You think of a mask like this with the bug eyes and just the shape of the head and how it looks. It's just, it's Spider-Man and that's what you want in a face shell. So for those of you that are wanting us to try this on with an actual suit, you're gonna have to wait. We have a planned costume for that is coming soon and we really hope that you guys will enjoy that video, but unfortunately we can't try it on with that suit just yet. We are going to rate this face shell a 9.5 out of 10. It really is just what you imagine when you think of Spider-Man and it is one of our best face shells. The only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is just due to that slight uncomfortability right in the upper nose area. If it weren't for that, honestly, it would be a 10 out of 10. But even then, the look just makes up for that. It is just incredible all across the board. If you guys made it this far into the video, make sure to check out our Patreon and our Instagram linked in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember, with, with great, great power, power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility.